So you guys found yourselves at a new mysterious land to most. Dove into the mysteries of Durst Manor. The manor lied to you in several ways. Hunted by a wolf, fought the wolf, killed the wolf, skinned the wolf, hmm. fought a bat, ran from the bat, I, uh, lost the some wolf. kids. I got attempt to find a kid, and you're being stalked. You know, I think I think things are pretty grand for you guys. Yep. I don't like they're the, the way he's looking at us like that. Like, yeah, things are going good. Yeah, you're good. Going great. Put Just it like wait. this. You're at the top of the mountain. You haven't snowballed off yet. I like yeah, that. that's a key word there. That's a key word right there. Right into the room. Guns <laughs> blowing. We'll take it. Um. Okay. So you guys are now gathered in the dining hall as Lefaris stuffs this bloody chunk of wolf into a bag for later use. Want me to live my life? <laughs> as Famously said before. What are you doing? Uh, Valentin? I are we just going to continue moving forward? D &D beyond. Okay, I'm assuming that... So we, we took care of both the wolves, right? <laughs> Dan, are you just... Yeah, or, um, not Dan, Clefaris. Are you skinning them both or just the one? I'm skinning the bigger one because I need a, I need a, I need a hood. Yeah. You're tiny, though. Come on. Well, one's like a five foot, so I'm four foot six, so that should work in theory. Yeah, that's with a blanket, me. bro. Hey, I mean, he's got to look mighty. You yeah, know? you got to look. You can't look like a pansy when you're gonna kill someone. You got to look tough. Come on, he is a toidle on a giant. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. what I'm saying, though. But if but you put a pelt on, it's cooler. Though, dude, the stories they're gonna tell about us. Yeah, there's this ogre with this wolf pelted toidle on his shoulder. You don't want to fuck with these guys. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with Den. Spoiler also has a drug addiction. I agree with Den. Who has this. a major drug addiction? <laughs> he's he's spiraling. <laughs> I just realized that berry juice was C four energy drink. <laughs> All right, so uh, Trevor, is the room? Did the room ever change back to the magnificent, magnificent like visual? No, it's all dusty and cobwebbed. So the illusion is like, like it, officially broken. As soon as you got, as soon as one of you got reached that third floor, it all disappeared. Okay. Okay, so we're still we're still in the mansion then. Can I yeah. listen, like do an investigation, like a listen to see if there's any other creatures behind where the wolves were that may have heard what's happening and are approaching from behind? Roll me a perception check. Perception. While he's doing that, I'd like to ritual cast detect magic to see if there's still like illusionary magic around. Uh, that was a nat twenty. You still, uh, you okay? Let's do this in. You, I think, detect magic still up. I'll say it's still up for now. Uh, do you still detect magic around you? You feel it's very much just. Uh, it's very much kind of infused with the land, is what you're feeling. Gotcha. And oh, natural twenty. Mm -hmm. So uh, once again, I was Man. just trying to see if there was like anything else that was like approaching or like. You know what I'm saying? Like, was trying to sneak around us. Like, just something else that's, like... Okay. With the wolves, basically. I guess, and... Um, Rudy, you're not hearing anything else creeping along the man... Creeping anywhere around you in the mansion. Mm -hmm. But just barely, you hear crying underneath the floorboards. The crying of a baby. Oh. Alright, I asked to the group, did you guys hear that? You guys obviously don't, so everyone say no. No. Uh, oh, dude, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to freaking log into this stupid thing. <laughs> Too incognito mode. <laughs> yeah, I, like, it's just so dumb, dude. I am an incognito man, actually. <laughs> what? It, it should be. I, you should just log in as under me. No, I can't I, log into Valorant. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just use my phone. It's just like it's about to die, so. Well, I mean, like. Take it down. Take it down. All right. So, yeah. So you, Rudy, you're you're the only one that's picking up on the uh, crying from the basement. All right. So no one, you guys didn't hear that. Well, I hear a baby crying like in the basement, like below us. Uh, I I'm, I apologize for doing this retroactively. I hate doing that, but did we roll or like? I rolled a nat twenty on perception to hear the baby. 
Okay. Um, can you hear how old it is? Yes, if, maybe. If you wish, yeah, everyone who wishes to see if they can hear it, roll now. What do we roll? Perception? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, okay. Mm. Roll a nine. You don't hear anything. I rolled a eight. Nope. Yeah, you heard Why am I so bad? Why is my character just so bad? You heard Clefairis fart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Rudy, don't make me laugh. It hurts. Yeah. It's all that berry fart. juice. Do you think I should get the ego vandal? Excuse me, sir. It's D and D time, not Val time. If you want to play Val, just... uh, I got in a uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Don't hear anything either. I'm not even gonna roll. I'm making stupid. True. Aren't you this like? Don't you have the highest intelligence that all of us? No. No, no. not anymore. No. He oh, did okay. when he messed up his like, character. <laughs> <laughs> he was one smart like over everything. <laughs> Put it like this: if you if for for your ability scores, a ten is like average is average. It's like your average oh, intelligence. It's like a normal person you're gonna be in the street. That's like, I got my shit together. It's not like super smart, not dumb. Just I'm okay at best. Might we'll take it. Team. Moving on. All right, so no one else heard the baby. They're well, we need to continue these. down to get that baby crying. Oh, yeah. Continue down? We never figured out how to That's get true, down. but we need to continue on our adventure. Yeah, we were uh, never able to find down. <laughs> that's true, but I think if we, we, we can... Go to the third floor. At this point, I might as well just punch a hole in the floor. Well, I... now that all the magic well... is gone in the house, or the spell or whatever, maybe there's some kind of door that was being well, locked. Dude, and well, wait. We never investigated the third floor, didn't we? Just t guys, take one you, step. You guys took one step onto the third yeah, floor. Yeah, I think. We should... Then the illusion broke, and we all like scrambled. I think we should go to I the third floor. Upstairs. And if we don't find anything, I kind of agree with Jimothy. Like, just try to punch a hole through the bottom floor. At this point, but on this let's house, have Vud Vud has not the air No, Vud well, has it doesn't axe. matter who punches it. I think we should just let's go up to the third floor just to see first. But in all honesty, I mean, we keep. Go... I mean, we keep going up. And we need to go down. So I think we should hurry up the steps and see what we can find. It sounds like a headbutt, too. So. Well, Don't we are in some sort of like weird Tim Burton nightmare house, so maybe going up will take us down. That's what I, that's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on All right, anymore. I'm walking we up. Must go up. I'm walking go up. Down. Is that Jack Skellington? Do we all I go up? Get a few of us stay down. You know, like three of us go up. I think we definitely need to stay together in this house. Yeah. So, so, so I heard Larry is already making his way up. So I yes. Larry at the front. I will. I will go. Um, I'm making my way up as well. Make my way downtown. Oh wait, I mean, you're first, gonna get uh, copyright striked. Go up the rear. I guess will be the last two. Yep, right. I'm on. I'm on his shoulder. All right, you guys make your way up. Oh, Trevor, can I do oh, my sorry. attuning? Artificer or tuning thing now, or do it? Should I wait until? It's gonna have to take. You're gonna have to take half an hour to do it. I thought it said instant. Like your first one is instant. Oh, then yeah, you can do it now. Then. Okay, I'll I would, I don't know like what exactly it means, but I would like to use my yeah. Let me let me read. Or what is it called again? It's called infuse or artificer, artificer infusion on my crossbow light, like my light crossbow. Okay. Well, so, okay. I don't know what so that does, your, but you'll handle what, it for what me. What infusion did you pick? I picked. Let me find it again for you. It is. Oh, well, I I, ha I do have it picked out. I just gotta remember the name. It was the homunculus servant. Is that what you said? No, that. So that's what I was looking at. It's not the one I picked for this. For this mm -hmm. bow, I'm picking the. I know what it is when I see it. Repeating shot. So. You mean read it like you read this or no? This is like uh, a quick paragraph. Maybe once. Okay, so. Uh, it says, item, a simple or martial weapon. So mine is a simple weapon, I believe. This magic weapon grants a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with it when it's used to make a range attack. And it ignores the loading property if it has it. So I don't have to, like, load my bow. It's just instantly loaded. Okay. If you load no ammunition on the weapon, it produces so, its own. The, you when you take this moment, you kind of go and pull out your crossbow and you're kind of running your hand down the, down, like, the haft of it fusing your energy and it's like this the cerulean blue light comes out of your hand and wraps mm. around your cross crossbow but for once looked like a small hand crossbow the part where the bow kind of bow, bows out pulls in 
and forms around twisting around the the barrel forming into what is almost like a strange arcane looking flintlock pistol the the wood in itself has taken on like a kind of like an ebony color with the two with the two uh I can't think of what they're called like the head of like the crossbow mm-hmm. wrapping around in a kind of slightly gl- glowing cerulean color I like and that will be your repeating shot okay I have marked that I've used one of my infused items thank you all right so moving up the stairs sorry I'm like in the middle of like also creating a magic item so okay all right so you guys get to the top of the stairs and you see a door to your left about 10 feet away and there's a door right next to it like if you're standing facing that door to your left it would be to the right of that and then there's another hallway kind of going off to your right and you see you can see a double door and what looks like another door right across from that are we going to split up again and open all the doors i think we should still be quick but... I on third floor we should stick together i am confused as it, what the layout of this is okay can you repeat that so we get to the top of the stairs yep you're at the top of the stairs and the about 10 feet to your left and like five feet from the like the edge of the balcony is a door and then immediately next to that is another door and then like 10 feet to your right like like about five feet up you can see a hallway that kind of goes closer to the side like further down this floor and you can see a double door immediately off to the right up that way and what looks like an inlet for another door across from it. I want to go right to the double doors. I'll stay with Valentine. I, mean, I feel like we should all stick together. So I'll follow, we'll yeah. follow them. Yeah, oh, sorry. Good. Okay, okay, so you guys move into... Uh, uh, you guys move into the room, and it's a what looks like a it's a dusty, cobweb filled master bedroom. There are burgundy drapes across one window. Uh, there's a. You see, the cur- uh Then there are like patterned veils all uh, across this, uh, kind of across the place. You see, a couple. You see two matching wardrobes, a large vanity mirror, a. With like a little table in front of it, with some with a jewelry box, uh, in front of a padding chair, and there's a rotted tiger skin rug, on the floor, and in the middle of this room is this beautiful four poster bed, with like what seemed to be what used to be kind of like this, uh, the violet drapery on it, and hanging from one of the like the like towers on like the side of the bed the poster bed is a body it's a corpse Mm -hmm. so it looks long dead and decaying it's more it's most it's mostly a skeleton with some tattered clothes hanging off of it from that at this point no no uh no like distinguishing things on it like maybe like jewelry or like prints on the the cloth or anything uh, you, if you wish, you can go in and investigate the body and see if you find anything. Yeah, we'll see. Nine. Nine. You're searching around. You don't see anything too sticking out jewelry-wise, but you do see a, kind of while you're looking around, I don't know, on the body, you're not really, fi- you're not really finding anything on the body. Like, is that male or female? It looks male. Does he look cute? No, sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, it's a corpse. So, yes. yes. Man. Don't make me He's laugh. making himself <laughs> laugh. <laughs> I want to be that skinny. No. <laughs> What's everyone's <laughs> passive perception? Uh, 13. 10. 
13, 10. 15. Where's mine? It's a uh, left, it the left column. It'll be on the left side of your screen. Oh, uh, uh, 12, 12, 12. Okay. Everybody, including Bud, notice at the same time, there is a note laying, there's like a piece of paper laying on the floor just beneath the uh, desk with where it looks like the vanity and note. the jewelry box. I try to stop anyone from like walking towards it and saying just in case this is like some weird trap let me have my mage hand grab it and I reach out with the mage hand to grab the note and bring it towards us rather than us go towards the dead body. Okay, the faintly glowing skeletal hand picks up the note and brings it over to you. Alright, what does it read, Captain? Do you want me to send it to one of you so you can read it or want me to read it out loud? Read it in your scary voice. I mean... Unless it doesn't this require isn't... the scary voice, then you just read it. This one doesn't require the scary voice. Can you read, read it regardless? regardless? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, here's what it goes. Let me bring this closer to me so I can see it. Uh, My dearest children, the darkness takes us, and I am sorry that your mother and I have brought it upon you. What began as survival turned into our obsession, and now to our downfall. In my final moments, I see clear. We are... Anathemia, and are being punished. We deserve it, but I regret that your fates are tied to ours. I love you both with all my heart. No amount of darkness and death will ever change that. May all of our souls find peace. Your loving father, Gustav. I look at Valentine. You, so you know who Gustav is? <laughs> <laughs> he knew. <laughs> You knew who Gustav was? Was. Yeah. Tried his best to be. <laughs> Failed at. So, can I infer, like, what the message is, like, actually saying? He killed himself. They, and, well, you right. Can... But is it related to, like, the, the black rituals or whatever? That yeah, like... You, without a doubt... Is that what he's you... alluding to? They, you're, he's, you're all, can all pick up that there's something that they were up to that is, wasn't quite right, that he couldn't live with anymore. Mm. Well, they, they were trying to become Oof. immortal, correct? That's what Oof. we found out. Yeah. Were his, in short, yeah. Didn't, didn't do a very good just, job. Just thinking back, were his kids like an illusion or were they actually still, uh, I think we're still trying to figure that out. We don't know. Yeah, we don't, I don't know. Uh, I think... so, this I man has left his kids to deal real. with their problem. I think the baby's real. I don't think. Do you think? Do you think he's the baby? Real. Like he came back, kind of like reincarnated. When you shall not be named. I think he's the baby, the rapper. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, is this a dead end now in this room? I mean, there's uh there's still the, there's, the there there's a jewelry box on the counter. Uh, I'll whip it open. We'll see what we got. I was gonna say, should we just kind of split up in the room and everybody just go search some things? Let's say, it, uh, Clefaris, in the box you find an assortment of jewelry. You see, the the box itself is made is silver with gold filigree. You can ascertain that's probably worth some gold pieces, and it contains three gold rings and a thin platinum necklace with a topaz pendant. And here's what I'm gonna do: grab the jewelry box, open my bag. <laughs> okay, nothing here, guys. <laughs> Jimothy. All right, make sure right. you mark down that you have a jewelry box with jewelry in it. Where did I mark that? In your inventory. In your equipment tab, you'll see it'll be in there. Inventory. But also, that book, and make sure that's in there too from last week. Valentine? Yeah. You were doing something? Oh, I was going to tell Jimothy. Perhaps you're onto something with that comment. Uh, that maybe he is reborn, and it's not just like a baby. That'd be that'd be interesting, knew, but at this point, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready to move to the next room? And that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Because you hear a baby, and then we, when we go upstairs, investigate, and then there's, uh, you know, talked about. 
immortality kind of thing. Like, oh, also when we saw this, be like like rebirth in a way. Yeah, because we saw the quite a bit of sense. Because when we saw the painting of the family, it was only the two kids and the parents. I just look at our Ooh. group and say, "Wow, you guys have had some messed up lives." Was it? <laughs> yeah. I thought there was a baby in the painting. There was a baby in the oh, painting. Oh, there was a baby, oh, yeah. I mother looked at it with scorn. Yeah. Oh. Do you think maybe he put his soul in the baby? I don't know. I think we should just find the baby before hey, we start. I, think I'm, I would like to take one more look around this room and make an investigation. Oh, yeah, we have more rooms up here. Well, investigation check. I'll allow it. Oh, oh, wow. we, need to make, like, we need to make a shirt illegal. that says that. Yeah. <laughs> Natural one. Mm, yeah, Put your eye out, kid. <laughs> Wait, you should roll with advantage. Uh, I don't get advantage on investigation. Oh, it's investigation. Sorry, it's perception. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you don't you don't see anything. you don't find anything else real well important. Okay. Then yeah. Can I try look around? Uh... Can I, can uh, I try look around too? Yeah, it's all investigation. If you want to look around? Oh, there we go. And eleven. Eleven. Uh, you're looking around. You, you can see a, there's a mirror, kind of a full length mirror, kind of sitting, but it looks weird because it's kind of pushed into the wall a little bit. You walk over and kind of tap on it, and you see it's a door that kind of pushes open, and oh, inside oh, you man. find a closet with it's very dusty and looks like old, like moths have been in and been like slowly chewing and eating away the clothing. Is there anywhere Doesn't past look... the moss a mm -hmm. down staircase? <laughs> Son that, of a not, bitch! Not that you're seeing. <laughs> These moths are useless. Okay. So is it just kind of like just full of like eating up clothing or? Yeah, it's kind of, it's mostly eating up clothing. Okay. Uh, do, do they have pockets? Can I check the pockets of them? The, yeah, you can go through and you rifle the pockets and nothing. Damn, that was exciting. I, thought I, could, I thought I was I'm getting dead. somewhere. All Maybe right. some dead moths. But... How big are Jimothy's hands that he's going into some moth pockets? <laughs> <laughs> he's trying his best. <laughs> All he's right. Having my issues again. Yeah, but he, he'll be fine. Well, we're just we're just investigating in the next room, right? I'm ready to go to the next room. No, I'm right. I'm right here. Vince here. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, okay, we can we can go. So, so I got exit, excited for a second. How dare you? As you as you exit the double doors, there is another door directly across from you. Yeah, that one looks nice. That one looks like the one I want okay. to open. No, you're gonna open that one. I like the uh, I like the trim. Uh, even you find a it's a dark room that contains a wooden tub with clawed feet, a small iron stove with a kettle resting atop of it. And a barrel under under a spigot in the east wall. A cistern on the roof used, is used to collect rainwater. It's a bathroom. Son of a bitch. And there's kind of like this mirror hanging on the wall. And uh, as you kind of look around, and you're like, all right, this is, there's like nothing here. You take a look in the mirror, and you see your the reflection you see reflected back at you. You look ghastly thin. You look like you've been, you haven't ate in months. I, I was just about to ask about the mirror too. I call, I call they, Vud they, over. Time to look in the mirror. Why? Because <laughs> he's a big man. He's the heaviest. So it's gonna scare him. Mirror Wait, Vud, I want to see what you look like in this mirror. <laughs> Vud, I wasn't sure if uh, this is me or not. Do you look in the mirror? You both. Yeah, you guys look fine. You look fine. So he looks fine. Ooh, I so don't though. Yo, so do you, he, you also look fine now, Larry. As you look back, you're normal. Oh. Oh. Do mm. I look fine? Because technically, if Vod's Let, looking in, I'm looking in it. Larry, yeah, is there is there normal as well? Is, is there something you saw? Yeah, I saw myself, but like very weak looking. Very are you, are you frail. talking to the group about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking to the group about it. Look oh, very okay. frail looking, but now it, my reflection looks normal. I, uh, in all honesty, I don't know if we should put too much into that. I think we should just continue. Continue to the next room unless anyone has. Wait. Can the mirror can the mirror like open up or something? Or is it oh, just yeah. like a wall? It's just, it's just a mirror hanging on the wall. <laughs> just got okay. Q-tips what, what if I? What if? I have a feel. I want to say there's something beyond that mirror. Like if I can try like break it. Don't oh, yeah. roundhouse it, please. <laughs> I'm not gonna roundhouse. I'm gonna headbutt it this time. I mean, I'm... if you really want to try and break the mirror, you can. You get also... I'm gonna. 
attempt to take it off the wall. Oh, okay. I'll do that. I'll take it off the wall. That seems better. Okay. You reach up, grab it, pull it off the wall. There's a wall behind it. I'm going to break the mirror with my hand axe. Mm -hmm. Wait, no! Don't break the mirror. It's bad luck. You will be cursed. Yeah. Oh, so but I'm thinking, what what if that's the the cause of the illusion? Because we have to find the item. Yeah, but if that was the cause, mm -hmm. why would it him. stop, though, like, all of a sudden, you know? Like, while we're in the room. And the rest of this room isn't even an illusion anymore. So I don't think that can be it. That is, if you're uh, going uh, to break wait, can you, can you, uh... You then go. let me leave before you break the mirror. I don't want to be cursed <laughs> along with you. Yeah, I'm with can we, is there any way we can like, um, is it like check for magic on the mirror? I mean, Dan's kind of had that going. It's like a ten-minute thing. I know thing. what we're gonna do. Wait, going, but... I have a plan so we won't get cursed. We're gonna okay. walk out of the room and we're gonna send Rudy's magic hand in with oh. my hand axe to break it. First of all, my name is Larry, Larry. If, and second of all, my hand will have nothing to do with this. Larry, what if you? Because now that you're a little arm is like a skeleton now, like your magic arm. Would it look normal yeah. in the mirror? Yeah, it's still fucked up. Oh, I can definitely try that. So I tried to just pull out my mage hand just to see the reflection of it in the mirror. This is deep stuff. We're investigating like a mirror. Skeletal hand. Okay, I, I can, we need to move can along. Can the hand even break the mirror? The hand cannot exert enough force to break the mirror. He's a weak yeah, boy. It can't, it can't attack. Hey, maybe he actually is weak and frail. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> got a shitty hand there, bud. <laughs> All right, let's, um, just do a simple pass. Let's move along. Let's move um, along. Wait, wait, wait. What else is? What, uh, is there anything that we can look tasks. in there? <laughs> is there anything else that we can look into? Like uh, any like boxes? There's a, there's a tub. Cabinets? There's a chamber pot. Wait, does the tub have water in it? No. Okay. It's a wooden clawed foot tub. It looks like it hasn't been used in years. Didn't Didn't you say there's a barrel? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a barrel. Check the barrel. The barrel's pretty much the sink, right? Hold pretty on. much. It's like a combination of the sink and uses water storage. It's empty. No, no staircase. Oh, there's, 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 looks like a, there's like there's like a pipe that would drain into it, and, and nothing. <laughs> okay. Not dry. like there's no dead child or anything in there either. <laughs> no. I mean, if you reach up, you grab a dead rat. But straight to the point, is there a dead kid in the freaking tub? <laughs> is there a dead kid in the tub? <laughs> yeah, there's there's there is there is not a dead kid in the tub. Okay. Keep, keep let's, it straight. Let's 100. move on. I I'm gonna move on. I'm with Valentine. Right. Yeah, we can we can check another room. I, I feel like we're getting close to something though. Since uh, when, when we walked in the room. Moving on, there you moving down the hallway. There is a door there's straight ahead. Two more there's doors, a... right? Yep. If you guys are moving towards the final door, there's the door straight ahead, and there's a door to the right. To the right. To the right. To the right. That's what I was thinking. You uh, open it up, and you see. A, a room filled with dusty shelves that line the walls. Uh, looks like they have, like that looks like folded sheets, blankets, old bars of soap, a cobweb-covered broom. It looks like a closet. Room? I got like oh. okay. I got closet. It's a closet. Does a bookshelf? Does it have books on it? No, it has laundry. It has like sheets and blankets and okay. bars of soap on it. Um, are the sheets covering anything? Did you move the sheets and yeah, the shelves. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a broom closet. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something amazing, I guess. The, I the, wanna, man's, the man's a dungeon roll an investigation. <laughs> okay. And search the closet for any hidden things. Um. So that's seventeen. Okay. Go and you start rifling through the the the, the shelves with the sheets, blankets. Yeah, I'm like knocking on panels and stuff, trying to like pull on the yeah. shelves and see. Uh, so far, nothing seems resonating, and the only thing left is the broom. Okay. You take a step closer. Well, it's a closet. You, so. Yeah, you take it. You, I mean, it's a it's about. Is it a walk-in closet? Yeah, it's a walk-in closet. Oh wow! It's like so all of those can just fit in there. Oh, okay. yeah. Wow. Yeah so, yeah. so, like, you're walking in the closet's on the far back wall, just sitting in the middle of the wall. You take a you take a step closer to it. Deep breath. Go to. Why am I taking the broom? A breath? <laughs> and you grab the broom. It's a broom. 
<laughs> you got an answer. We found it's your covered, ride. It's, we it's found a broom. In... <laughs> it's covered in cobwebs <laughs> like a spider crawls across your hand. All right. Good times in the closet. Am I yep. right? Are we ready to go to the next and final? Can, door? can I interrogate the spider? I have a speak with animals. <laughs> an animal. Not an animal. What do you, you know? Spend, are you to spend ten minutes to cast speak with animals? Oh, no. I walk out of the room. <laughs> just sold him with a little thing of tweezers up against the wall. Who do you work for? Can can you actually like no no joking you know here jokes aside I mean can you actually cast speak with animals on like an actual like house spider? Mm -hmm. You can you can cast you can cast speak with animals and attempt to speak with any kind of animal. Really? Wait, now I think about it. Do I we just like beat the crap out of intelligence or something. I don't know if there's a minimum intelligence. Ouch. I don't have the spell in front of me. Hang on, I mean, like, think you're about kind it. of like restricted by the intelligence of it. Okay. So like okay. like last game when we beat up the wolves. You can try talking could, to the wolves. You could just talk to them and yeah, they were just talk to them curious and then I don't know why we just start beating the crap. They were agents of Strahd. We yeah, started fighting really them. We needed that level up. So, <laughs> we started fighting them. Yeah, last door. Let's let's move. Let's last door. door. Last door. Should Rudy use his hand to open it up just in case? My name's Larry, and Larry would love to use his hand to open up the door. I think Larry should fight. His hand or his magic hand? Magic hand. <laughs> no, no, no Larry's hand. magic hand. Mage hand, to be exact. <laughs> hey, Dent, is your uh, camera not on on purpose? Yeah. Okay. All right, Trevor. I use my mage hand to open the door. Okay. You open the door. And is the staircase down? You see a dust, a dust and cobwebs cover an ele elegant, an elegant bedroom. And you see there is a there are there is two rooms adjoined off of this one. One to the back is a double door. And one immediately to your right, down a quick little like it's like five feet in, and then the room opens up with immediately right to a door, and then about ten feet away from that is <clears throat> a double door. There's a big double bed in the middle of the room. It is very nice and looks like they're it's well kept, and you see the uh, double doors ahead of you are slightly are like kind of opened in. They're not kind of like closed over. And a lot of that, besides that, a lot of dust is covering this room. I would like to take a little pixie poo through that one where the doors are slightly open inward, and I have my pebble with light as well, like to you know try to shine light in there before I get too close, to see if I can see inside as I open the door. To the, to the first door or the double door? The one that you said was it was like a, I believe you said it was a double door that was like slightly open inwards. Yep. That one. Okay, you uh you open the door and you peek in and what you see is a nursery. Hmm. Open I just open uh, the bad boys open. Me... Okay. As you step in, you uh you, as you kinda of step in and look around, you immediately notice the sheets and bedding of the nursery are stained with blood. Hmm. Oh crap. Is there a way that I can and just beyond the other side of like the crib, you see the remains of a corpse. Oh snap, dude. Uh can I So with my maybe my passive investigation or even roll for an investigation, try to see like if there was like a trail here? Like a trail yeah, of like ahead. where it went. Roll roll investigation. Why don't you like tell the group? Because you're the only one can I help? in there. Thirteen. You don't know what's going on yet. Uh, well, uh, I just opened the door. I just like quickly wanted to just a look. You gave me advantage. Yeah, you guys see him step in. I'll tell you guys in a second. Yeah. Just relax, relax. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, Do I have advantage from you? Val Valentine is like with you, and he's going to help you search. Okay, so and the give you advantage on your roll. Uh, fourteen so with advantage. Um, you're as you're kind of moving through, you can tell there's a what you're seeing is it looks like the 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 body is wearing kind of the remains of a dress. It looks like there was a struggle, and you see a, a like a knife that that was coated in long dried blood on the floor next to it, and you can see where the bones, like the neck bones, kind of would be on the skeleton. It looks like they're like part part of them have been like sawed, 
and it's like part of those bones have been missing. Mm. And as you're investigating it, you all hear a voice as a figure materializes in front of the body. Oh crap! Mm. Who are you? Who what are, are you? you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I look at Valentine to let him talk because he knows way more than I know about this area. I look at Larry. I gave you advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are uh, oh, me and Bud we, walk in after hearing the the noise, like the the voice. We were told to to come in here and save a child, and now we've been looking, we've been looking around. Who are you? Well, what you guys are seeing is like this kind of like spectral vis visage of what once was a very elegant and kind of beautiful woman. She's got this very like simple kind of like. Kind of like a housemaid's dress on with an apron kind of tied at her front. Uh, her hair is her hair is pulled back in, in a very like kind of neat braid. And she goes, she goes I was the I nursemaid, was the here, nursemaid for here for the children for the, the durst for a long time. What happened to the durst? The 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 a a you know, she kind of stops and looks and kind of looks around. Because there was a there was a there was a famine that struck the land. How long have you been the, dead the, for? The, 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 uh, Another pause. She kind of stops. She goes, "I don't know. I don't know." <sighs> The Durst got the into, got with, into their with their contacts a, contacts, a contacts, dark magic, dark magic, and dark they resorted to, they resorted to eating the flesh, eating the flesh, eating the flesh of people, flesh, people, 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 to, to much, sustain themselves, to sustain themselves, to sustain themselves. How much do you know about the Durst dark works? Not much. I don't. Not just. I don't. Not just. I don't. Just a little bit I managed to hear. They kept the children out of it. Can you guide but, us to the basement? But should I... Should I... Should I... She... She... She shakes her head and she goes, I can't... I, I, I can't take you there. I can't take you there. Why not? Can I do a persuasion to try to persuade her and tell you I, do, I don't... I, I don't... I don't know I, where the don't know entrance where is. Don't entrance where is. Don't entrance is. Oh. I'm saying I'm punching holes on floors. You... Can I do an investigation to see if she's lying? It would be an insight, and yes, you can. Insight. Oh, that's a good idea. Dent. Eleven, dude. If I roll one more nine tonight, I'm gonna she's... shoot somebody. She's being very forthright, from what you can tell. She's being very forthright with you. Can I try as well? Hmm? Yeah, you can try. Seven. Good job, Dorothy. I don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, you, you said that. She just flips you off. <laughs> just laughs in my direction. <laughs> you think I'm lying? I, I would ask her, is any member of the family still alive? I don't... I don't... No, one night... No, one night... No, one night. The lady came and uh, lady came and, uh took, Walter from me. took Walter from me. Took Walter from me. Took Walter from me. And and took my life as well. 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 What happened to the two kids? The lady of the house, you mean? Yes, and I don't know. Yes, they were no, they were no, they were playing in the attic playing. last I heard. The attic last I heard. The attic last I heard. That is where the room is. That is where the attic. Attic. Yeah, how do we get to the attic? Another fucking third floor. floor. No, that'd be the third floor, wouldn't it be? We're on the third floor. Yeah, but that it Wait, could be a third. There's, there's another door. Can you point us to the room that we the room that we entered must have been this handmaiden's quarters, and there's yet another door. Is that how we would get to the attic? I can't. I can't help I can't, you. I, can't help I don't. You. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What? Can I do a persuasion check to see if she like does, or like I guess like an inside? Because she's got to know something. I mean, yeah, she's unfortunately, working. you're right now. You're pretty convinced she's being forthright with you. There's no way. No 
way. I'm big and stupid and no, she, she lying. No, I'm kidding. I'm, uh, I want to, like... Oh, man, is this, like... I'm thinking... Of... I'm gonna, like... You know, I can say this out loud, I don't care. Like, is this, like, another visual spell? Like, do we think she's um... here? Roll, I think she, uh... I think she's real. Okay. Yeah, can, can I, I detect do an, it? Can I do an arcana arcana check just to maybe maybe see if I know uh, anything? You're or... gonna roll arcana check. Uh, you're not uh, Dent. You're not detecting that she's an illusion. Okay. Also, if you, if you guys want to, you can always ask Valentine if you have questions about like things pertaining to this realm that we're in because like this is my homeland. Oh, so. Like, seeing ghosts isn't actually, like, too uncommon around here. Hmm. I mean, I did roll a 21 on my Kana, even after... I just rolled it anyway, just in case. Even after Valentine uh, said that. You can tell she's not an illusion. She's, like... Okay. She's definitely a spectral being. Are you able to... Of... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, are you able to leave this place? No, unfortunately, no, as long as... Baby Walter still Baby Walter exists. Still I don't exists. think I could. I can leave. You see, I'm tied to the infant. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. He's still alive. Here, yes. in this house. Yes. Yes. He's in the basement. He's in the basement. But you don't know how to get to the basement, right? I, I can. Yeah, I cannot get it to the basement. Oh boy. I look at Valentine. We we got to do whatever it takes at this point to get down there. Is there? I mean, I don't know. We got to figure out a way to this basement, though. And I, and I, as she, as she, as she just like saying that, she like floats around and kind of like stares out the window for a second. She looks at you and she goes, "I uh, can't I, uh, be for can't certain, I but be for certain, but be for certain, but." Be for certain. There is a way. There is a way. There is a way. I heard a door. I heard a door. I heard a door. In this room, after the lady did what she did. The most I could say is look around. Look around. I'm gonna roll. Maybe you will find something. Fattest investigation check for this door. I'm talking a fatty investigation. I we all roll for it. All of us. I go first. Eleven. Son of a bitch! I fucked him. I also rolled an eleven. Okay. Dude, I hate it here. That's what we're doing. Investigation. Are you gonna let us all roll an investigation? Is that okay? If you guys, if you guys want. How the fuck? Fun? <laughs> so Vud's <laughs> gone completely blind. He doesn't even know we're in our okay. mansion anymore. All right, all right. Uh. Open that one. I don't want, okay. Well. <laughs> I got a nat one. Oh my. Vud looks at his feet and goes, oh, "Nah, yeah, I don't see anything." Two, yeah. <laughs> oh. The two of you who get who rolled that one, you guys can give advantage to someone else. Instead of taking okay. your I'll give it to chairs. me. Give it to me, Joe. I'll give it to Larry. Yes. Yeah. But if you want to give it to me, I got plus two. I'll give it to Clefairs. I rolled a 14 that time. I got a 21. There we go. Ooh. So. Show me potato salad. <laughs> what? It's funnier because I can't see you. <laughs> As you are... What, uh, what's it? what was the rolls again? Sorry, I was reading. 14. Not a 21. Okay, Clefairis. As everyone's looking around, you're sitting there on Bud's shoulders. <laughs> Pull out a pipe, light the pipe, inhale, and you're like... <laughs> and then, you see it. You hop off Bud's shoulders, walk over to the, to the wall nearby where you guys entered, and walk down a small corridor into this room. And you slap the wall, and a door just goes, <sighs> leading leading to a staircase, going up. Up, oh, mother. Oh, and then lava. I say the staircase we're looking for. I hit the button and we move up. No, I'm just kidding. Not <laughs> <laughs> uh, different staircase. Click. It goes up. Wrong door. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like we got to go up, right? Even though it's we up and not down. No. I think we have to but go. She said there's one more door that we haven't looked in in the Hand of Maidens quarter. Mm. Should we? Well, the lady did say that there's a secret door that. Um... Yeah, I think this is the door she was talking yeah, about. Yeah, but she, yeah, she, so. She Valentine, said, it was, she she said, said it was this in is that the room. door they, uh, that the person like went to after the attack. 
I see. So, well, then we can leave the other door. Yeah, I think we should just start with this door. I mean, worst case scenario, we can go back to that one. It's a good thing she told us, because I was about to do something. Very well. Charge. Who wants to lead the charge? And I look at Vud, who's mighty and strong. I jump back on Vud. Lead way. Move on, way. Okay. So. I was about to guys, myself with the baby. You guys move up into the attic. And you guys are at, uh, walk, come into a large room, dusty, covered with a multitude of cobwebs. And it's it's a large room. It's about, on one side of it, it's about 30 feet across, 30 feet in length, and 20 feet across. And down the 30-foot like section, you see a door to your immediate right, a door down... A little bit past it on the right a door on the left and on the far side of the room to your left another door can i use my mage hand and just open every door just <laughs> see if we can find the one that goes down just quickly like i just want to open every door like right? from where we're standing yeah open 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 and then just look inside each one kind of like you know from the room like the middle of the room basically can i do that uh you can so as you're kind of going through opening doors, the first door you open up immediately to the right, you see two small beds, a small chest that is closed. The room is very dust covered and toys litter the floor. It looks like a children's bedroom. Makes sense. Do you step Why in or do you keep going? Help? I want to go in there, actually. Oh, I, I just want to... The children's bedroom be hidden. And How is that lady the handmaiden, which she did not know. She said they were in the attic. I'm assuming this is yeah. the attic. It is, so, yeah. Yes, Why? however, she also said that she did not know about any hidden door. She only heard one open. Yeah, she well, didn't know what the door was. The if this is the only way to get to the attic, how does she, like, really know about it? To know that the kids were playing up there. So she heard the kids well, she also knows her. about the basement, but clearly doesn't know how to get to it. We'll have to look. I want to start the her, Yeah, her memory could be very skewed, like, since she's That's dead. That's true. After she's departed, it could be that her memories have been fractured. Yeah. That's deep. True. Okay. So. This, so you step into the children's room, Valentine. Are you the first one? Valentine's the first one going in, right? I'm staying yeah, out. Yeah. I'm not even yeah. going in. I'm staying like okay. in the main room. I'll walk in with him. Okay, Valentine and Clefaris. Uh, you walk into the room. This room uh, contains a uh, bricked up window that is flanked by two dusty wood frame beds sized for children. Closer to the door is a toy chest with windmills painted on its side and a dollhouse that it, upon closer inspection is a perfect replica of this house in which you stand. All this is, and its its furnishings are also covered in cobwebs. I investigate the dollhouse to see if we can find a way into the basement. Okay. Uh, looking at dollhouse as a. Uh... Okay, you're looking at dollhouse, and you, as you're looking through, you're looking through, and you could. You see in a room not far from where you are, across the hall, it looks like one of the walls isn't real. Hmm. I want to look what? in the toy chest. Okay, Valentine. As you look in the toy chest, you see two small skeletons <clears throat> wearing tattered but familiar clothing. The smaller of the Ooh. two cradles a stuffed doll that you also recognize. Was it your stuffed doll, Valentine? You can see a... In the front of the toy chest, there was a rusted and rotted padlock that had fallen off the front of it. There's something going on that I don't know about. Uh, I think none of us know, but Trevor and Joe right now, the way Joe's all about 
It's pronounced Valentine. And as I... you were, and as you, and also as you're looking in the toy box, and as soon as Clefairy starts looking in the, uh, the dollhouse, two familiar figures appear in the room, and one of the, one of them says. If you could please not you could mess please with our toys, we like them where they are. Who are you? You, you look Rose at them, it's, 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 it's the two children oh, yeah. you guys met outside. Well, I'm testing their, I'm testing like their knowledge to make sure that they know it's them. We let you guys out the front. Let you guys out the front. Let you guys out the front. Asked you to help us find our little brother. Find our little brother. Find our little brother. How'd you die? Uh, I think we uh, could infer that without asking them directly. They're just children, even if they are already in the afterlife. Um, and I kind of gesture to the fact that there's children's bones in a toy box that had a padlock. <laughs> Tensei, can you relieve that moment for me? Please and thank you. <laughs> like... <laughs> Go, who cares? <laughs> Oh, they care. I have a cold uh, bucket. Our, our mother, our mother took our little brother, our little brother to the brother. To basement, and we don't know it's why. It's okay. You don't have to talk about it. I know it's probably painful. Would you like me to bury your bones? If. You could digest. You could digest. You could digest. You could digest. Bring our brother back in. Brother back in. Lay him beside us. Lay him beside us. Lay him beside us. That will be enough. That will be enough. That will be enough. I will do that for you. It's got like really deep. She just kind of nods and like. Uh, Clefaris, do you, did you do you do you put down the doll house as requested or do you keep messing with it? I never. True. I mean, I, I assumed I just spun it around. I didn't figure I, like, actually okay. picked it up. Okay, okay. You, so you didn't actually pick it up. You just kind of moved it. Okay. Yeah, I just, like, moved it so I could look into it. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. But uh, I will say that I move it back to, like, the exact same place. Especially like, after being asked. <laughs> look, Rudy, I, in real life, I live in a line of work where dead shit's normal, so I, I regret nothing. <laughs> I regret nothing. Do you... Do you... I take it you would not found the way to the basement. We have not. No, and we have been trying very hard to find the little brother. Is it Father. that? Father. Is, is it that fake wall in the next room over? And see, she nods, and, she, and then she goes, "Follow me. I'll I'll take you to it. I'll take you to it. I'll take you to it." And you, I watch. She she will kind of start moving outside, like out of the room. As they're walking. To us, I'm like relaying to the group like what happened. I'm assuming you guys don't need me to spell it out any more than I oh, have please do. with everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just gonna file. We're gonna take a ghost. Yep. What a ghost. And uh, so she takes you all into the room across the hall, and it is you see it's very much. Uh, it looks like it's a storage room, just like that with like chairs and other stuff, just kind of with, with like sheets tattered over it. And as soon as she walks in, she kind of immediately veers to the right and points at the wall. What do I roll to like? Because I already know it's a fake wall. Like, how how do you take down a fake wall in D and D? Is it just like do I touch it and it disappears? Uh, do you touch it? Sure. I ain't got nothing to lose. That. Well, you pass right through it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Because my my yeah. was to try and kick it. <laughs> He's on a run. Oh, it again. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was. I was gonna go, just punch, punch you. Punch you. Onward. <laughs> so, do you guys step in through the wall? I'm following yeah. Valentine. Okay, give me one second to reacclimate to 
the new area. And as you guys all step in, you all level up to five. Guys, That's crazy. You guys start moving down a spiral staircase towards the lower levels of Durst Manor. You know what? You guys can all level up to three real quick. Yeah, and Trevor's like, huh, you guys so are going to do this that. level. That's not good. I'm terrified. And Trevor's about to get into a big, big scary fight. I choose to leave the mansion and carry onwards. To I, choose, I choose to go home. <laughs> fuck, fuck the kid. Yeah, that kid's dead. He's like super dead. The only thing about my levitation, though, I can only use it for 10 minutes, so. And then I gotta take a nappy nap. So, moving... Down the spiral staircase, you guys have finally. It's about. It takes you. It takes you about a couple minutes because you're moving down all the all three levels of the house, and then some. Finally, you guys hit bottom. You step into a five foot wide hallway. That leads, up, and you step into another corridor, five feet wide. You see a path to your right, a path to your left. And little in and little inlets every five let's say every twenty feet there's a path to the there's two paths moving towards the right. Do and I you can see the hallway to the right eventually leads into a bigger room. The hallway to your left eventually turns off and continues in a different direction. Can I hear Walter crying? Make a perception check. Also is the kid like still guiding us or did he the, kids the kid never grinded yeah, us. The, yeah, the, the k- seven. They guided us through anything? the wall, but that was it. Yeah, okay. that's it. The kids okay. did not come down here. Okay. Hmm. All righty then. Well, I guess we just start on the one on the right, huh? And I use my maid chain to open the one on the right. Okay, so you guys just know they're just corridors. There's no doors. Oh, okay. Then I don't use my maid chain. That's uh, so basically we're in a dungeon. Yeah, welcome to the dungeon. Yeah. Oh no. Is it lit in this dungeon? Like, is it? Yeah, it's torches. There's, there's some tor- There's torches on the wall. To anyone is who can't lit? see, I I have I pull out the my two pebbles that have light on them. I say for anyone Wait, who I wants can, an extra flashlight. Do... Oh. Well, well I can this. also use uh, shower sparks as well. I'll say this: from the moment each your feet your feet touched the floor of this chamber, you guys can hear chanting in the distance. Oh crap. <laughs> We're in a dungeon with a cult. Oh my goodness. Why? Well, I obviously want to follow the chanting. <laughs> it's kind of echoing all around you. So we're just going to chase ourselves. All right, let's go to the right. Where he wants to do. to <laughs> the right now, y'all. I, I, would, I would like to take a moment, too, and mm-hmm. just say something to the party. And say, you can all hear the trent. Sorry, you can all hear the chanting, right? Yes. Yes. Well, whatever we are about to face is evil. But just know this. They will try to intimidate you, but we are on the side of good, and good will always prevail. So stay strong, and we'll stick together. All right. I like, I'm motivated. I'm ready to I'm die. Bud. I intimidate. I, bud. I don't get intimidated. <laughs> All right. So you guys, moving to, you guys move towards the right? <laughs> I'm motivated. I'm fought. <laughs> I'm fun. <laughs> you guys move down the right about 15 feet from where you first enter this hallway. You guys cannot move side by side. You guys are single file. So for the sake of this, marching orders. Uh, I mean, I can go first. Me and Vod will be in the back. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, is, Clefair, is the hall tall enough for Clefair to be on my shoulder? Barely. Oh, you better. He's gonna... Buckle he's up, gonna, but he's gonna like hunker down because you're you're a big man. Good oh, thing he's a turtle. Half, you're being you're half giant after all. All right, I think all it's right. safe to say uh, Vud and Clefairs are caboose here. All right. I'm uh, I'm third, so I'm behind uh, Val- Valentine. Okay, so it's going. Larry. So Larry, Larry, Valentine, and then. Jimothy. Jimothy, and then Vod and Clefairis. Yeah. I don't know what's worse, crabs or toidles. <laughs> so, down the hallway, about 15 feet down the hallway, you see there are 
two. There's a hallway that branches off to the left and a hallway that branches down the right. <clears throat> Just kind of glancing down them, you can see what looks like coffins down each pathway. Like mm. Two on each side. Two. Do you proceed to check them out? Yeah, I look at Valentine and say, should we be worried about these coffins here? Like, what, what are the chances that they can flank us from behind? I mean, we've already seen ghosts today. And we've seen a big illusion. <clears throat> What are, the, what are the chances that these could actually cause us problems down the road? Valentine, make a history check. Mm. Um, hold on one moment. I was on the wrong page. A uh, six. I'll give it to you for six. You could you you're not completely sure, but you can pretty you can infer maybe this is their ancestral like crypts, like this is where they they were supposed to be buried when they died. Okay, so probably nothing to worry about then, Valentine. Well, the the coffins are most likely past family members. Uh, however, given all of the <clears throat> we've been dealt in this house so far, I would say just remain alert. Okay. Alright, then let's continue moving then. Okay. Moving along. You guys move into a fairly <clears throat> large room. It looks like a kind of dining chambers. Uh, Second, where do I was? Oh yeah, uh, it looks like it looks like a dining hall. There are moss-covered skeletons all of like kind of littering the floor. Uh, it's a dining hall. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. I like to eat food around dead bodies. Hmm. Well, do we just continue on? I uh, the, is the chanting getting louder as we proceed down this direction? <clears throat> mm. No, you can. So, as you can see, like the, the the hall itself, the room when it kind of opens up, it's about twenty feet wide. There's like it looks like it's further to the, it's like bigger on the left than it is on the right, and like the. There's a table in the middle of the room. So some of you guys are going to have to either like move single file on one way or like split around the table to move through it. You can see there's kind of an alcove on the left-hand side. A There's another opening on the straight ahead. And there's another hallway on the right side of the room. Was the chanting getting louder, though, as nope. we proceeded? <laughs> Wider? It's the same. Okay. It's just echoing? Yep, it's just echoing. I just, I mean, I think we should just keep moving forward then, like, not take any, take as few as turns as possible just to kind of remember where we're at, you know? Can I make an investigation check to see if there's been any foot traffic or, like, any sign? I know this is, might be actually really hard, but, like... I'm, I want to try and determine if anyone's passed through here recently, and if so, like, which way did they go? <clears throat> okay, roll an investigation check, and uh, which direction are you moving around the room? Towards the right or towards the left? Uh, towards the right. Okay. All right, roll the investigation check. What are the rest of you doing? Now? Seven. I mean, can okay. I help him, if, assuming he's saying that out loud? Like, that's his yeah, plan? Yeah, if you're, if, you're, if you're moving over there, yeah, I'll let you give him advantage. Can I give you advantage, Valentine? Okay, yeah. Uh, that changes it to a dirty 20. Okay. <clears throat> mm. You're looking around, and you can tell this room has not, probably has, doesn't look like it's been traversed too often. You, but you can tell something weird. The bone, like the way that these bones are kind of like sitting here, they're moss covered. That looks like they've been kind of like pushed into the ground, not stepped on. 
that something has moved against them and pushed them and kind of crushed, crushed them underneath their feet. Or, yeah. Wait, so something has crushed them, or something has been waiting? <clears throat> something's kind of been waiting over them. Okay. It's, you can't tell in the last time that, well, how long ago that was, though. It's been, looks like it's been a, a little bit. A number of days, maybe. Okay, I'm going to draw attention to that and tell everybody. If you look at the bones here, you can see that it appears as though no one has stepped on top of the bones, but almost as if something has swam through it or on top of it. Hmm, okay. So, Do I know which direction it seemed to have gone? Um, not, I mean, you could tell it's kind of, it's moved around this room. Okay. But, like, but you can't really tell a direction, for sure. It looks like it's, cause, simply because it looks like it's kind of moved all over the place. Well. <sighs> Does anyone have any ideas as to which direction we should take? It seems that there are two more ways out of this room. Not including, of course, the way that we came in, right? Right. I mean, I don't yeah, have any definitely. idea. I think we should, I mean, let's just pick yeah, one and a, move. I mean, I can yeah, leave. There's a... an alcove on the left side of the room. There's the hallway on the right side of the room that's nearest to where you're probably standing now, Valentine. And there's another hallway go moving straight ahead from the way you entered. Like, if you enter, there's a, another way right across from it. I think maybe we should proceed straight ahead. I agree. I can always mark right. where we've been to. I have 490 gold. I can leave a gold <laughs> piece at the intersections of where we've been so we don't get lost. I mean, there's no way there's that many, right? I, mean, I don't know if that's even necessary, to be honest. You don't think we'll get lost in this labyrinth? Per se? I mean, so Trevor, does each room so far seem to be like at least slightly different, or do they all seem... He's like one room had coffins. This room is a room yeah, with doors. You, guys, you know, like they yeah, seem guys, fairly you guys, different. You're, you're, yeah, you're in a dining hall filled with moss-covered skeletons. Right yeah, now. see, they like they're the rooms are just different so far, but we can keep that in so, mind, Vud. That'd be a okay, good. So just, so just let me know if you guys are moving towards the right, uh, hand. I think we said we were gonna go straight. If you guys are straight, let me know if you're moving around the left side of the table or the right side of the table. I am already on the right side, yeah. so right side. Then. Should we split? I'll do. I'll do left side. I mean, it's all. It's all kind of come around to the same point. I just want to know because it's gonna be. It's like just the way the room. Every set up, like... inch matters. Yeah, I'm just asking. I'll, I'll do, you guys uh, can I'll all move along side. the right side if you want and keep moving single file. Yeah, I say we just do that single file on the right side. All right. Well, I mean, if Jim, if he wants to go around the left side, let him go. Huh? That's true. Yeah, I'll I'll go to see see if I can see anything else. I mean, realistically, in character, we would have no reason to be like, "Hey, stay in a single file," like you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's just a there's a, there's a well, little alcove over on the left side. That, it's just been over there. Hmm. Yeah, in fact, if Jimothy is going on the left side, I might even mention, like, hey, why don't you go and see what's over there before you meet back up with us? Yeah, I'll, I'll, go, I'll, go on the left, I'll go on the left side and do an investigation. Okay. You move along the left side, roll me investigation check. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got a two. This man, it. You're, you're not allowed to check anywhere, okay, my guy? <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> You never find still elements, so don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So you're kinda as you're gonna go around and kind of look around investigating the left side of the room, just kinda see if there's anything over there. You kinda poke your head into the alcove. And before you realize it, you see this beaked face covered in tentacles leap forward. Okay. As it bites down onto your shoulder. Um, what's your AC? Ooh. Your armor class. Uh, 
uh, 15. Really, really quick. There is a... Oh, I do I do have a action that I can do called uh, patient defense. So I can dodge. Do that, that work for it? Unfortunately, is not going to help in this situation. Okay. Because... It's taken you by surprise, so unless that is a okay. reaction... Does it say action, bonus action, or reaction? It's a bonus action, if I'm right. Uh, yeah, it is. Jeez, Vance, would how you... do you not know that, nerd? <laughs> would you, would you, what, you, what you all see as this thing, like, comes forward and bites down on to Jimothy is, like, this five to six foot long green snake-like creature, but where it's where you, it would be a face is just a beak with these four tentacles coming off of it. I will just post it in Shit. the... In Shit, the, it's my ex-wife. Not chat. again. That way you guys can uh, see. Oh my gosh. Can, can I, I scream? Is that, is that optional? Am I allowed to just scream? Oh, it's like an octopus. Am I allowed to cry a little bit? That's a 19 to hit. And That do be hit different. Dang. Makes sense. That's a big boy. Uh, you're gonna take nine points of uh, slashing damage as it kind of b bites down on you, and the four tentacles kind of come and oh, stab no. into what if your ribcage. He rib doesn't cage want well. to take it though. Sorry. And with that, I need you gentlemen to roll initiative. Oh, oh, oh yeah, buddy. I would love to roll you initiative. Eighteen. Just one thing. Can you give me infinite life at this point? Thank you. Uh, nope. No. I really don't want to hit this thing. Alright, 18. I am going to roll. One second. No one, don't say it out loud yet. Wait, Do I roll two? This. Yeah, yeah, everyone roll initiative. It's like our, it's our new fighting order. Uh, initiative, where's that at? Uh, next to your armor class. Yep. Right in oh, there, proficiency. Okay. 11. ha 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 ha. I don't want to go first. I'm going to be honest. I've never heard ever in a million mm. years someone not want to go first. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this thing's going to do as like a counterattack. That's true. That's a good point. Have I ever seen something like this? Uh, roll a nature check and what's your initiative? Uh, my initiative is 16. Have I seen something okay. like this? Because my guy's very old. <laughs> roll a nature <laughs> check. Well, no, it's like old and white, like... Old and cute. Got him. I, ro I rolled an 18. I, I get a 11 on nature. Uh, Valentin, you're not sure what it is. Uh, Clefaris, you might have heard something referenced about it. You might have heard like, like talk of a creature called a Grick that hunts between in the in like deep, dark caverns. That this seems to be. Mm. All right. Clefaris, you're first in initiative. Well, oh, you didn't ask me what my initiative was, uh, you son of a gun. Who cares? Sorry. Sorry. You got an eight. Oh, you saw it in here. Oh, okay. I thought you were just yeah, trolling I can, I can me. Check, I, I can, okay, I, my bad. I can sorry. Check, I get. I can check the game log. Yeah, I thought you were trolling me. My bad. My bad. <laughs> okay. Really quick. You said yeah. you said he hit me for nine slashing damage. Yep. Okay. I was just checking. Did it hurt? Tickled. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So, so when, yeah, so when you take. Yeah, so when you, if the, for those of you, for, when you take damage up next to your, or heal for the matter, up next to your hit points on the right side, you will, you'll see a little box next to your total HP. You just hit, you just type in the number and click either heal or damage, and it'll calculate it automatically. Yeah, I, I just discovered that. That's what I was asking. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so, uh, that's okay. That's okay. Real, real quick, can you describe guidance for me? Once before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add that number rolled to one ability check of its choice. So, ba so basically, you can choose someone when you cast guidance, and for the for the duration, they can add a d4 to a check roll they make. So mm. you're just gonna you're gonna buff one of your party members, but it is your turn, Clefaris. I am going to. You got this, Clefaris. Woo! Cast the guidance on Devud. Oh boy. On to Vud. 
Wait, does guidance affect your uh, attack rolls? I, I'm not trying to meta game, but they are new players, so if it does, that would, you know. Yeah, because because uh, I gave them guidance, assuming I'm pretty it did. sure I'm pretty sure that can be used a one ability check of its choice. Yeah, so no, it doesn't. So I'm gonna give it to Larry instead because he has actual like damaging abilities. I, I don't yeah. think it'll help. Yeah. Stock it. An ability check would be like a perception or an investigation or nature or oh, history. So, it, oh, so it's so not going to be useful in combat. Yeah. Basically, General, be like if I have a, an intelligence maybe. check or something like that, since I have a minus one for intelligence, you can do okay. that. It'd be a plus three, essentially, then, right? So yeah. I'm going so to cast a vicious mockery and run like hell to the back because I'm the healer. What are you going to say to it? T come on, tell us what you're going to say to it. <clears throat> Please don't hurt me. And then I'm gonna run to the back. <laughs> That's how you mock it. Dude, I don't want to be turtle stew. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the spell save DC? What? <laughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, I'm not looking at. I should just keep everyone's sheets open at all times. Yeah, we're all new uh, here except for you and Joe, right? Okay. Even I'm still pretty new to this. Okay, so next to Vicious Mockery, you see, uh, you can also hit slash, like, time range hit slash DC. That Wisdom 14, so it's a, it has to make a Wisdom save of 14. And let me pull up the stats. And hopefully it misses. It fails, so yes! roll your damage. Let's go, Dent. Smack it around a little bit. Three. Three? <laughs> hey, we'll take a three. That's better than a zero. Well, it looks like it begins to question its existence for half a second. <laughs> Good job. Before moving a... on with its life. That's enough for me to dive into the back line. Hey, Trevor, real quick, before we go to the next person, how far away am I from this thing? Can you like kind of give, uh, like, uh, give us a visual of where about people 10 are feet. At? You guys, uh, here, I will... Uh... So our movement speed, pretty much. So oh, I'm still by right. myself then, aren't I? Yes. Did he at least let go? It's like on the other side of the table, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. A big table. So, okay. Yeah. Is he still holding on to me, or did he let go? Uh, yeah, he let, he let go. Oh, okay. You're not a midnight snack anymore. Oh, thank God. Uh, what's your health at? Uh, uh fifteen out of twenty-four. Okay, thank you. Can remember, I'm the healer, so I need to be aware of what everybody's at. Mm -hmm. I, I do. I do have. Uh... Never mind. We can just we can just continue. I get I can talk about it later. Okay, so you. So okay. So Clefairy, you're just moving back behind the behind someone bigger. Yep. Vod. Vod, protect okay. me. <laughs> Vod. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'll post um in the chat real quick the room you guys are in. On the 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 hole, the, like the area that's that has the 28 on it. That's where it, or it is. And then Jimothy is standing in that square right in front of it, and you guys are on the up opposite side of the table. So we're at the 27? Huh. Yeah, you guys are at the 27, it's at the 28. Okay. Jimothy, you really oh, cool. fucked up. Wait, is each block here 5 I'm feet, just, so I'm about 15, 20-ish feet away? Yeah, okay. yeah, you, yeah, you're about 20-ish feet away. Okay. And, but, and so it is Valentine's turn. Um. Okay, so I'm going to use my movement first to jump on the table. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use my bonus to action and go ahead and use insightful fighting. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make an insight check and it needs to contest me with deception. Okay. So I rolled 18 on insight. Uh,. I rolled a 17, but it's got a minus 3, so that's a 14. Okay, so since I won the contest, I now have advantage on every attack roll I make um, until I use this feature against a different target. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to use my action to make an attack roll with advantage with my spike chain. Okay, go ahead. 
Okay, so that gives me a 15 to hit. 15 hits. Okay. Um, so I do nine points of piercing damage and I nice. take my, my chain and I just whoosh, nice. like whip it from across the room on the table. Love okay. that, Joe. <laughs> you take a deep gouge at it, it kind of shrieks. Like, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot 2d6 for sneak attack. So, oh, yeah. dad. What did I say? That was nine total. Yep, nine. You had nine Just the give first me the time. sneak attack damage separately right now. Okay, and then the sneak attack damage is another seven. Nice. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah, dude. Like spittle is screaming over it is looking pretty rough. Good job. And now, so that was your bonus action movement and attack. Uh, you'll you only use like ten feet of your movement. Do you, do you want to use any more, or are you just good where you are? Uh. Good where I am, unless someone else wants to jump up on the table. Uh, no. Then I mean, I, I, I can kind of move, but... Okay. So you're going to stay there, then... Jimothy, you're up, and then Larry, you're on deck. Okay. So I'm next? Yeah, it's your, tur it's your turn, Jimothy, and then Larry's after you. Sorry, I forgot to tell you you were on deck. Okay, okay. Okay, uh... Oh, no. All right, so, so is it like is it is it in the room or is it still in like that little corner there? So. Oh, it's still in the room. It's like it's on top of you, basically. It okay. tried to make a meal out of you. Death hot. True, I agree. <laughs> and, uh, I agree. Uh... Let, let's see what it can do. <laughs> Come on. You gonna pop pop it? Fist of fury. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a uh, I'll use. Fist up on broken air. And then is it like on top of me? Like sta yeah. like not standing I mean, up yeah, it, but like over in, me? Yeah, it's a, it's in combat with you, so you, like it's right up against you. Okay, so um, I guess I'll try to uh Okay no no, I won't use Fist up on Broken Air. I'll do um uh flurry of blows. You have to, if I remember, if I'm remembering monks, right? You, if flurry blows you can use after you make an attack action. Oh, as a bonus action, you can spend a key point to then make a flurry. But yeah, so you take the attack action, and then okay. after after you attack, you can use a bonus action to spend a key point to make two more attacks. <laughs> so many options. Mm -hmm. I mean, the simplest option is to punch it and. Yep. Uh, uh, okay. So I'll just I'll just do an, I'll just do a normal uh, base attack and then just an arm strike. Uh, pretty much just punch it right in the beak. Okay. Punch it. Punch it. Make your attack roll. Okay. I do the uh, I do the hit uh, DC first, right? Yep. You click that plus five. Okay. Twenty-five. <laughs> That's a natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. That's double damage, right? Uh, okay, so how I'm going to do crits for damage. Normally, you would just roll double the dice. So we're how we're gonna do it is you're gonna take we're gonna take the maximum damage you can do. So, uh, so for this case, it's gonna be you're gonna have a four four damage automatically. Roll your roll your damage. Wait, Wait, I think it automatically calculated. I think it automatically did it. Yeah, yeah, because so it it did a a two d four instead of a one d four. Okay, yeah. So, and it, so okay, I got I got, so, I got nine. All right, nine damage. You uh, you kind of reach back and as you punch it, your fist just kind of coats itself with like this, like this, like the small slipstream of air. As you go through it, but the air keeps going and kind of removes the top of its sp its skull, and it slumps onto the floor dead. Nice. <laughs> you get, uh, don't touch me. 
<laughs> Excellent. Hey, the first, wait, uh, Jimmy V, or, uh, <laughs> what does your character look like, Vance? Cute as ever, What's of course. Like? I, I um, actually don't remember the description, because I know you're, like, doing a last airbender kind of thing, but I don't remember. Does he actually look like Aang, or, like, what were you going for? Yeah, yeah um, he, he's, like, bald. Yeah. Just a bald monk. He's bald. A little, little bit taller than Aang. Does he wear clothes? Yeah. <laughs> monk clothes. <laughs> so he's got, he's got, like, a gi on. Does he yeah, have yeah. an arrow on his head? Hmm. Trevor, check I mean, messages. I'd like to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I can say, uh, I'll say that. Um, he, he could, because that, so that's not necessarily, like, the... It, it's already... The, just the airbender kind of thing, because that or not not the avatar. That's like airbenders in general. Hey, hey, yeah. So yeah, no, I, would, I, I would say he does. He does I, have, I like, the air, arrow tattoos. If you were, like actually going, or if you just wanted the powers from avatar. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Air, arrow, um, arrow tattoos throughout the body. That's pretty cool. Are they blue? Hey, Trevor. Yeah, yeah. for air. When a fight is over, we don't regain it. Uh, hit points, right? Nope. No, not until you rest. Not so, until you rest. So should we take a short rest to heal, or should I just cast healing, uh, cure wounds on, on... Well, how many people Jimmy? took damage? I think only one person took, took damage. damage. I, I did. I took nine damage. Nine? Because... Yeah, because he bit me, so then right. I punched because you guys, <clears throat> Because you guys are new, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll let you guys are, are in a little secret. Or a little secret. Joe and Dalton are kind of familiar with this because they played before. Basically, in a dungeon... You can absolutely stop and take a rest, but you're not the only living things here. Other things call it home. So stopping and sitting and waiting around for an hour. <clears throat> oh, something can potentially like ambush. Stuff could anyway. potentially come and start hunting you. Okay. <clears throat> and then you're also in a position to where you're not going to be able to take the long rest to get your spell slots back. And you're not at the okay. end yet. So if you expend all your stuff now, you're not going to have it later when you may need it. Okay. Do you have any way to heal yourself, Vince? Because nine points is a lot. Honestly, well, I think... It? Wait, so do you have... Like, so, uh, Clefairis, what's your ability that lets you like heal everyone? Can that only be during a, a rest, or can that be during yeah. a fight? It has to be during a short rest. I have bards, like... How many, spell slots? How many spell slots do you have? Four. Four first and two uh, second. I, would, uh, yeah, I, would use one. I mean, yeah, uh, you should just go ahead and use one of those then. If you have four like that you can use today, using one of them now while we're not in combat is not a bad idea to heal. Uh, Jimothy, you're healed for 12, so you're back to full. Okay. There you go. That, that, that was a pretty good use, you know? Thank so, you. I, so, I like, what, what Trevor was saying is a good point. Like, you don't want to use all your spell slots, but you also don't want to not use all of your spell slots. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to yeah. waste any. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's very much also like part of like a re the resource management of this game is keeping track of your stuff because say hey we're in this place like and you expend all your spell slots just like fighting things in the beginning you're not gonna have anything left to fight like the boss at the end of it. Yeah, Vance, but if, you... if everything conversely, then you end up not being as effective as you could be too. So you need yeah. to keep a balance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you need to like balance using your cantrips and your in your stand in your, like your spells that have slots so, in combat and stuff like that so the tldr is tell vance to not take any more damage forehead no so vance <laughs> listen to what trevor's saying uh when we're in rank tonight don't hold your sage all for 13 rounds <laughs> oh all righty okay. I'll, I'll allow it nice oh really really oh. quick i do have a question what's up so it said i, I read something to where like um Instead of using uh, strength for, like attacks, I can use like dexterity uh -huh. for my character. Uh -huh. Would that be just should... for like saving throws, or does it? Would it just like automatically? It should, it should it? be automatically calculated. I think yeah, I think it automatically yes. takes whichever one your highest one is. Yeah. Okay. So you're good. That do this. So that's why I have so like a plus. Because okay, so for example, I have a plus one for strength and then plus five for dex. Is that why it's plus five for like the hit chance? Yeah, yeah. that's because it's 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 okay. automatically it's always seen that your strength sucks. So like, okay. Holy cow. No, no, it's a plus three index. I'm looking at it, but like with proficiency, it's plus five to hit. Oh, okay. So the website's nice. <laughs> but yeah, 
yeah, so it's uh it's it's just calculated okay. automatically for you. So all right, you guys have killed the monster. And you guys keep moving forward? Uh yeah. Actually, yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, can I can I levitate the table and then throw it at the at the dead corpse of that thing? Because I got really upset at it. Sure. You'll okay. you're gonna expend your one use of levitate for the day. Do you, do you wanna do oh, that? Oh don't do that, Vance. It's not no, for the memes. Can I just kick it, it? Can I just kick it really hard, Adam? Yeah, you kick it. The, the the table's basically rotted, so it's gonna fall apart like with, with like when it, when too much force is applied to it. Oh, I should not have jumped on that table. <laughs> you jumped on it, and it's like it, it, it stayed up, but like if he's like slamming his fist down on it or throwing it, it'll shatter when it hits the okay. wall. Does elemental elemental attunement doesn't do anything? It's just like an action. It doesn't cost okay. points. Moving on, oh, you guys. Uh, Moving on. We're. Uh, let me just get caught up on my notes here. Okay, so you guys. We're moving on. You guys are going to keep uh, moving straight down the opposite end that you guys entered, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. You guys move down, and immediately to your left and right, there are two hallways that are collapsed. <laughs> immediately in front of you, there's a collapsed hallway, and immediately to your left, there's a collapsed hallway, but there is a path to the right that leads to a stairwell is it still <clears throat> claustrophobic oh yeah it's still pretty tight down here okay i'm gonna jump on the shoulders again <laughs> yeah. you guys keep moving you guys move down this flight of stairs and <clears throat> you hit a small landing and there's a <clears throat> another another flight of stairs leading down but there's another hall but, but uh, a hallway immediately to your left so you can either continue straight down another set of stairs or continue or move left. I think we should continue Wait. going. I lied to you. Don't ever lie to me, Trevor. I'm scared immediately, now. Immediately, immediately to your left is another set of stairs going down. And then to your right is another hallway. I think we should continue to go down, right? Can I try to yeah. hear listen for the baby crying again? Uh, uh, the chanting? The chanting, right the, chanting the chanting's still here. The chanting is? Okay. That probably join. I, I I I think we should go downstairs. Still, anyone disagree? I agree. All right, we were we rolling. Okay, give me just one second. I will happily wait all the seconds you'd like me to. All seven seconds would be great. Yep, take all the seconds you need. They're your seconds now. Their Bud has seconds in the break, just so you know. Okay, so Vud and Clefaris. That's me. You, you guys are the last people approaching this staircase, like this the first staircase going down. And as you do, you watch you see is the one of the co collapsed tunnels in front of you. It shimmers and now there's a hallway there. Shit. How ballsy are we feeling, Vud? I'm feeling pretty ballsy. We're okay. going. We're going. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Should we tell the group? Should we tell? I'm going to tell the group. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what? Let, let's talk to the group. Let, let's sure. talk to the group. Sure. What they think. Right now, <laughs> I'm going to tell the group. I think we should talk to the group. Tell them that there was another path. Why didn't we go that way? You know what I'm saying? Am I'll I able to investigate to see what's down that shimmering hallway? Uh, hallway looks like it goes about 15 feet and opens up into a large room. I'm going to explain to the group that, I mean, it can't hurt to check out that room. Obviously, yeah, it, was, it was being hit. So just, so just role play it. Shout down the hallway at your comrade and tell them that uh, you found something. See if they want to stop or do they want to keep moving. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm relaying to the group that, hey, if it was hidden, it was hidden for a reason. If what was hidden? But, I got you, Trevor. If what was hidden? Well, there's, a, there's a tunnel up here that has now revealed itself. A, a new tunnel? Or uh, one of the ones that was collapsed in is now unclapsed. It was an illusion. Uh, How far down the steps Ooh. have I made it, Trevor? 
about 10 feet. You guys, like, okay. haven't moved, right. you guys haven't moved down the second yeah. flight of stairs you guys found. You just made it down the first one. And, like... And I don't notice anything fishy down there just yet, obviously. Not yet. You can okay. see... As I think... You look, as, you look, as you look down that second flight of stairs, you see it hits a landing, and it looks like it kind of curves around and goes down again. Okay, I think we should turn around and, and go back with, with Vud and Clefaris. No, am I able to try to... Um, I guess, like, hear the direction that the chanting is coming from? And still, make, make, make a perception check. Wait, Ooh. before he does that, I'm going to cast Guidance for him. Okay, you can add a d4 to your roll. Clutch our kick. Clutch our kick. So do you know how to do that? No, I don't. Right, so now there's your 15. Yeah, now the bottom, bottom left, left, click the dice. The red dice and click the d4. I mean, the 15's already pretty good. I like I like where this is going. Yeah. So, All right, 16. 16 total. You're... You think it's coming from deeper below, but it's still kind of echoing around, so it's hard to tell. Okay. All right, well, I, uh, I think we turn I around. I guess we'll tell and... everyone, like, you know... Oh, my... So should, should, we, should we check out that little illusion hallway? Yeah, I think so. First, and then and then we'll just continue going down. Yeah. Okay. I uh, I pat Vod on the back of the head for moral support. We did good, bud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <laughs> Vod and Clefaris, are you guys uh leading the way into this new chamber? And is everyone following? Let's do it. Yeah, I'm following. I think we do. We pretty much have to do it because since it's like super claustrophobic. I mean. I am not gonna go down that hallway. I don't like that. I'm still going, but I don't like that. You're gonna say that to us, or you're just gonna stop? I'm just gonna say... I don't... I don't trust this. Do we have a choice? Come to think of it, it could be a trick, though, to try and delay us. Oh, Valentine or... has a great point. Yeah, this could be just a trap to distract us from going where we need to be going. Like, this wasn't here just a couple seconds ago when, before we started going down the steps, but once we started going down the steps, it's just like before when we were upstairs. Like, every time we, like, walked up and down steps, the illusion would change which floor it's on. I'm kind of leaning towards Valentine's side on this now. I think we should just go back down the steps again. I'm still <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do kind of. I do kind of agree that it's kind of like a like a trick, and I, I don't want to be bit by anything anytime soon yet. So I think we should go. Yeah. I think we should go down. I think we should just leave this here. This wasn't here five seconds ago, and now it's here when we started going down the steps, and we we're in a house of like of trickery and dark magic. Like I, I think this is definitely trying to distract us, and that we need to continue to go down. What do you think? Clefaris, Vud. I can agree, but I'm going to cast Dancing Lights and put a light after the the uh, the illusion and one before it to keep an eye on for later. Okay. All right, then we're going um, back down the steps. Everyone's in agreement. Mark for later. Yeah. Clefaris, roll me a perception check as you. Put the dancing light in the room. Stupid question. Can I cast guidance on myself? Does guidance consume a spell slot? No, it's a cantrip. Oh, I mean, sure, you can guide yourself. It's a good cantrip. 19. Nice. 19? Um, you can, as you send the light down there, you... Just first, like you see the shadow of a cloaked man on the wall. Is this the one with that we've been seeing? You don't know. Oh yeah, it's kind of roll for that. It's a cloaked man. It's not like it looks. It looks kind of. It looks pretty familiar. It looks in the same shape. Well, you, it looks you like it's so, Clefairis, you are the only one that has seen that. I seen it. Uh, no, Valentine and I seen it uh, last. Last session, we seen it for oh, a brief okay. second when we were uh, well, when the kids were under the porch. 
Did anyone step up to see the hallway? I mean, we stepped up is what I said, okay. and then we were like yeah, we were talking. Okay, yeah. Anyone who stepped up to like kind of and look at the hallway, you all see the shadow on the wall. Oh boy. Should we go down? I mean, we're not really playing for time at this rate. We've taken so long. The kids either already dead or they're not planning on killing them. What what time are we really wasting? Right. We don't want I whatever disagree. that is behind I think us. We should pursue our lead and pursue it now. Let's keep an eye on our back. That's all. We Exactly. We need to remain alert, but not become distracted. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like it'll just be another. I feel like it'll still just be like another distraction because it's not the first time that you've seen a shadow front like that. But do you guys not want to know more about who this is? Of course we do. But is that maybe what it wants us to do? Yeah, but it, yeah, and what it wasn't here ten seconds ago. You have to remember that. Like this, once again, could just be an illusion, just to lure us away from this staircase. Like, this illusion wasn't here before we started walking down. And now that we're making progress in the right direction, we're being tricked. I I vote we go downstairs. All in favor? I vote Aye. that as well. Aye. It's a smart idea. If Clefairis is going to mark it, so if we do come back and we can explore it later, but... Alright. So you did throw those to, to keep it marked anyway, so... Yeah, how long are those okay. other state? Like, they're good there? As long as he's within range. All right. Let's roll. A, a great book once said, lead us not into temptation. <laughs> nice. Look, so, I, I don't read the Quran, okay? Okay, <laughs> so do you guys uh, say marching order that you guys had co coming into this place? Moving back down? Yeah, am I still in the front? I'm, I'm, I'm okay to still okay. be in the front. We have to. All right. We just kind of go about. Uh, as you guys move down... The hallway, one set of stairs, curves and turns to another set of stairs that goes down 20, 30 feet, leads into a hallway that leads straight to another 10, another 10 feet, down another set of stairs that goes down another 20 feet, till you guys, till it finally stops, and lands into a large room. Uh, you guys can hear the chanting now. Clearer. Louder. As you guys approach this room, you see there are all these little, like, it's, the room is 15 feet across and just straight ahead in length it's about 25 30 feet and in each section of the room you see a pillar but looks like an altar on it uh and then another hallway going down to the right and you guys hear the chanting now what do we see on the altar do we see any distinguished figures any inscribed things okay so you are going to uh you go and take the. You're gonna go and take a look at all the stuff on the altars. I am, yeah. Is everyone else gonna go look at the altars? Or you go. What are you guys doing? Moving into this room. I can. I can go look at the altars with them. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll look at the altars to to, to see if there's anything. There. Yeah, uh, look, we're going up there. <laughs> Thirteen in total. Oh, wow. I mean, can we one, like we so... get separated? There's five of us. So as you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll, like I'll like I'll tell you, I'm not gonna make guys roll for things. I'm just gonna tell you, I'll tell you what's on there. Okay. But like, as you guys are moving through this room, like the chanting is spreading, and it's just saying, "He is ancient. He is the land. He is the land. He is ancient. He is the land. He is the land. He is ancient. He is the land. He is the land." And as you guys are moving through and looking at these altars, thank you, Jesse, for the follow, bro. Has a vial of coagulated blood. Another, a lock of auburn hair woven into a figure eight. Another, a hag's severed finger. Another has a sun symbol made from woven wicker. Another has a patch of dried human skin. 
Another one contains a vial of murky swamp water. It's water. Another has a vi has the severed claw of a raven. Another one has a black twig with blood red thorns. Another one has a black a a dragon's tooth wrapped in silver wire. A another one has the tattered remains of a large bird feather. The next one has a shard of amber. The full one after that has a dried bouquet of wolfsbane. And the, the and the final one has the desiccated ear of an elf. Am I able to recognize what all these uh, coincide into? You have no idea. Can I uh, listen an arcana check? Arcana check? Yeah, I'm going to feel like I can't roll anything. Go ahead. You, know? Go ahead. you can make an arcana check. Okay. okay. I'm going to roll an arcana with my guidance. I got a natty fatty. Nat, a nat 20? Yeah. And then I got 17. Okay. Man, I hate to do this to both of you. You have no idea. Okay. Stupid. Um, Rudy Valentin. Nat 20 on that. <laughs> you understand a portion of these. So, Valentine, do you think if we like mess with these altars at all, it would maybe slow down whatever they're trying to do and bring attention to us? Maybe there is one hallway moving forward into a room. I have no room. idea. I have no idea. Like, do Actually, these like all these items uh, like like they all look like they're placed here on purpose? Obviously, right? Yeah. I look at Valentine and, uh, and I say, like, we could just try to just to take, like, just to knock these over, just to maybe stop whatever craziness is going on in an I attempt. Will say, I will say a little detail I forgot to mention. On one wall, kind of, very, there's a very large painting of a well dressed man. Kind of, clay, kind of a cloak. Holding a cup of some, oh, oh, like a goblet of something. The Valentine, same guy you, you... Mm -hmm. in here a while ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say, so, Valentine, you know exactly who it is. The devil himself. I and... want to take the Raven's Claw. Okay. And to each one of you, the the figure kind of looks familiar to this out uh, the shape you've been seeing. Watching you, stalking you. Do the eyes like follow us from the painting? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's just a painting, but you guys all recognize like the visage, like the shape of it. Even though those of you who uh, have been seeing someone staring at you in the dreams that I sent you, right? This is that man. Mm -hmm. Do we recognize this? we recognize that man, correct? Yeah, you guys recognize him. You guys can't put a face to a name, but you guys can tell this is him. Can I like try to roll a perception to make sure we're not like being followed like that one uh uh shadow like isn't like kind of behind like approaching behind us? Go ahead, make a perception check. I'm gonna cast guidance for him. So is that another D four, right? Yep. Okay. Would you like me to roll a D four for you? Oh another Nat twenty. <laughs> Fucking go. No one's following you. Okay. Like I said, you guys recognize the fi you figure of the painting. None of you know who he is. Save for one. And okay. There's, there's one hallway leading forward. All right. I think I'm we can move along. I'm going to take, take the, the Raven's Claw mm -hmm. and then go forward. Okay. We don't want to try to destroy one of the altars or something like that to mess this stuff up or not. I mean, so here's the thing. If we do that, do. there's a chance it messes with them, but it would also bring attention to us. Do we want that? Or do we want to try to go on stealth-like? Say so we just move forward. Okay. 
I was gonna say, so, blood can put a suspicion into an altar. So, moving forward, you guys enter this. The chanting stops as you step into this forty-foot square room. Smooth masonry walls provide excellent acoustics. Featureless stone pillars support the ceiling, and a breach in the west wall leads to a dark cave ahead. A dark cave heaped with what looks like refuse. Murky water covers most of the floor. Stairs lead up to a drop to dry stone ledges that hug the walls. In the middle of the room, more stairs rise to form an octagonal dais that also rises above the water. Rusty chains with shackles dangle from the ceiling directly above a stone altar. Mount directly above a stone altar mounted, mounted on the dais, sorry. The altar is carved with hideous depictions of gasping ghouls and is stained with dried blood. Is there any sign of the baby? Not immediately. <clears throat> so you guys step into the room? Yeah. You step into your room, and as you do, you step down, you're immediately, you're about close, to, almost close to waist deep in this water. The only place to do, do go is to trudge up to the dais. Okay. I'm going to do a quick perception check to see if I notice anything out of the ordinary. All right, make a perception check. I'm going to do it with guidance. Mm -hmm. Ten. Fuck. Nothing sticks out. So, Valentine makes his way up to the dais. The rest of you follow, or do you make your way about the room? I want to follow no, Valentine. Okay. Same. I follow. Okay. Last two. Hmm. Do you stay? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we go. We go or with. I said we never get the man behind. I was just thinking maybe we more or like we should have investigated the blood or something like that, see if there's something there that we could find, but we're all just going so that's that's where we are going. That's where the blood is. Is in the center of the room. Blood. Oh okay, never mind. I thought we were like going up the stairs or something like that. No, we're going to in the center of the room is the stairs that lead up to a blood stained dais. Okay, okay. I'm so interested. As you guys step onto the bloodstained dais, you watch as these like cloaked figures step out and surround the upper portion of the chamber and begin to say in unison, "One must die. One must die. One must die. One must die." One must die. One must die. One must die. One must die. What do you do? Uh, poop my pants? Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. I whip out my hand axe and I kill Larry. Someone's gotta die. He's a ninja turtle, but he's super old. You watch as the, 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 the chanting is starting to get louder. Are these things Ooh. approaching us? I say... Um, I say, remember what I told you before we came into this room. Okay. All right, um, so we'll go one by one. Larry, what are you doing? I am uh, just sticking next to Valentine and just trying to stay, like, focused on exactly what he is doing. Okay. Uh, Jimothy. Hmm. I'm just standing there confused. Okay. Um, just gonna <laughs> Valentine. Um, I'm gonna uh, like. Are we on the stairs now? Or yeah, like, you got you guys. We... You guys. You guys are on the central dais right now. Okay. Um. Is is there any sign of the baby? Not that you see. What the fuck? Okay. Um. 
what 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 is on the dais? Anything, or is it like just empty? It's empty besides like the dried blood stains. Okay, are the are these close cloaked figures like approaching us, or are they just chanting? no? They're, they're just chanting. They're just standing on the like the lip of the room and just chanting. Like, are they visibly chanting? Like, we can see their mouths moving, or is it just, like, shadow figures? No, they're, they're, they're shattered. Like, their hoods are shadowed, their face, you can just hear their voices. Mm -hmm. Why are you thinking, Valentin? Vud and Clefaris. Hmm. No, one of... <laughs> I'm trying to think. No, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Uh... I'll roll. Um, can I... no? I've... You can you can hold until something happens. I'm gonna hold. Okay, bud. I think I look up seeing the shadow figures, and I'm trying to intimidate them. <laughs> Just trying to look tough. I don't want to die, so it's like, uh. Okay, roll intimidation. And I give him guys. You can uh, say, it's going to roll and it's going to do something. You can, uh, I haven't overrided it, but like, look at your roll and add your strength modifier to it. Or I wonder if I can add it, change this. <gasps> so... you scared the crap out of a ghost. So. Your D4 is the two. <laughs> you watch. Vud just kind of looks up at him flexes and just roars at them and two of them kind of step back and stop talking <laughs> the power within the power within the power within yeah i i do have a thought so even though so okay so they're the changing like you know like one must die can i kind of like uh like say say to everyone like does does it matter if like if it's us or like one of them like does it... yeah, they're, they're, they seem to already be dead ghosts. I don't think we should kill anyone. Yeah. And don't let them kill us. But if it's a matter between us and them, we have to kill them. I'll kill everybody here. Right. I'll allow it. So, you guys <clears throat> abstaining from any action? Um, I actually tell everyone that we should form a circle back to back. Okay. I do it. All right. Okay, I'm going to be on Vud's shoulders with my crossbow at the ready. And. Yeah, can I? That's a good guys... point. Can I get my uh, attuned crossbow ready? Yeah, you guys, you guys prep yourselves, and then a voice echoes around the room. The power within. <laughs> so be it. And you watch as that, this, that humbled mess in one corner begins to move. And what you see is a mess of flesh and corpses come getting up and moving to life. And then you hear the sound of a baby crying. As this big fleshy monstrosity stands up in the corner and you watch as the water that was surrounding this dais turns thick and red and fills the chamber. As this thing reach forwards like claws and we're like, when it opens to roar, instead of hearing like the big, like throaty roar you would think you would hear from a creature of this size, it's a baby screaming. Yeah. Like just imagine the most uncomfortable, unhappy baby oh. that's just screeching at the top of its lungs. Out of a huge beast, be or like concerned. Out, out of um, a, out of, like, <laughs> this thing, it stands Holy thirteen shit. to fourteen feet tall. It make Vud look tiny. Guys, you don't realize we're up against Rudy's comment section. And... <laughs> what? <laughs> As it screeches. That's we're gonna stop for this evening. Oh my! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Boy, oh boy, oh, am I about to poop my pants, Larry and Dalton? 